Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we're looking at the third grade concept of fact families, specifically how multiplication and division sentences are related to each other, and we'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So we're going to start out with something very simple. Let's start with a basic multiplication fact. 3 times 5 equals 15. The commutative property also tells us that we can flip the order of the factors and our product is still the same. So what you need to see is right here in these two multiplication facts, the answer to multiplication problem is called the product. And then these two, the three and the five, these are called factors. And it doesn't matter whether it's first or second, they're both called factors. So you multiply factors together to make a product. Now I can take those exact same three digits, the three and the five and the 15, and I can write two related division problems. But here's the thing, the 15, which in the multiplication problem was our product, always goes first. What I'm going to do is I'm going to divide uh, 15 by 3 in the top one, and then I'm going to divide 15 by 5 in the bottom one. And so 15 divided by 3 is going to make 5, and 15 divided by 5 is 3. So in our fact family for 15 3 and 5, the division side, we actually have three different names we need to remember. So the biggest number, which was our product in the multiplication facts, this is called the dividend. So that's what you're dividing into. The number that you are actually dividing into the dividend is called the divisor. And all of these have different names and they're going to be important in just a moment. And your answer is always going to be the quotient. So the quotient is the answer to a division problem, whereas a product is the answer to a multiplication problem. So let's see how we can use these related facts, these fact families that have four sentences, number sentences, two multiplication, two division that use the same three numbers. In this case, it's three, five, and 15. So here's a fairly simple example. You might get a question sometime on a test that looks like this, blank times six equals 30. And your job is to fill in the number for the missing factor. And so blank times six, typically when we read multiplication problems like this, we would say this number, and then you can replace the multiplication sign with groups of. So then your question becomes, well, how many groups of six does it take to make 30? Well, if you want, you can write out your multiples of six, six, 12, 18, 24, that's why we always learn to skip count. I've got one, two, three, four, five. There we go. So I've got five groups of six, and that's going to be the answer to that question. Another way we could use fact families would be to flip around. Take our product right here. Your product always becomes your dividend if you want to make a related division fact. And then you can put either of the factors as your divisor. In this case, we're going to say 30 divided by 6. That's going to give us the number we're looking for. And remember, this is our dividend. It is being divided by the divisor. And the answer is going to be our quotient. And if we know our facts, we can say 30 divided by 6. Well, that's going to be 5, just like it is in this factor over here. Let's look at one last example. This is one that might mess you up unless you take a really close look at it. 7 equals blank divided by 9. Now here's where it gets tricky. Most of us are not used to having the equal sign on the left side of the equation. So if you want, you can simply rewrite it as blank divided by 9 equals 7. doesn't matter which side of the equation the equal sign is, but most of us are used to that. Because once we get this... Now we think, okay, so this is going to be my dividend. And remember, your dividend is always the largest number in the division sentence. And it's also always related to a product. Equals, to kind of keep it as like a, what we have up there, 9 times 7. So I'm looking for the product of 9 times 7. And that's going to give me my dividend. So if I know my 9s. I can say 9, 18, 27, 36, 45, 54, 63. And that's my answer, 63.